Hey guys, it was Bombi TV. So today we will be reacting to the face of Allah, powerful by Merciful Saba. Guys, I didn't check out the face of Allah before, but I think this is another version of it. So guys, we won't be taking this bit by bit. I won't be watching a little of it and kind of deliberating on it. So like, please make sure you go through this from beginning to ending and share your thoughts about it. I want to see your opinion. What you think about this? Guys, this video is actually sponsored by Rumi guys that made this video possible. I'm putting on their hoodie right now. I can tell you guys this is super comfy, guys. Guys, they are running a Black Friday. I'm gonna get like 80% off. This is a mega Black Friday, and I'm running a Cyber Monday too. So, guys, please check them out, guys. I'm gonna get 15% off when you use Bambi TV, guys. We're we'll getting 50% off using my promo code. I'm gonna get 80% off on the store, guys. It's crazy, like huge offer, guys. Don't miss out on this. I bought you something really, really good. Guys, let's go straight into this. You shall see your Lord just as you see this full moon. You shall see your Lord the comparison is to the people looking at the moon and the people looking at Allah. You will see your Lord just as you see this full moon. No one will be fighting. No one will be arguing to see it. Everyone will be able to see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The greatest blessing of Jannah is not Jannah. The greatest blessing of Jannah is not the things inside of Jannah. Rather, the greatest blessing of Jannah is something even more than Jannah itself. Allah says in the Quran, لِلَّذِينَ أَحْسَنُوا الْحُسْنَى وَزِيَادَةً Those who do good, they shall get Al-Husna, which is the name of Jannah. They shall get Al-Husna وَزِيَادَةً And they will get more than Jannah. What could possibly be more than Jannah? Our Prophet explained this verse. He made a tafsir of this verse. And he said, when the people of Jannah have entered Jannah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ask them, Oh my servants, are you happy? The people of Jannah will say, Yes, O oh Allah, we are. Allah will say, Oh my servants, is there anything more that you want? The people of Jannah will say, And what could we want more than this, O oh Allah? Have you not caused us to enter this paradise? What more could we want? Then the Prophet ﷺ said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will lift the veil, yakshiful hijab, and they will look at his face. And they will not be given anything better and more noble than the looking at his face. And this is the ziyada that the Quran talks about. This is what the Prophet ﷺ said. This is the thing that is more than Jannah. Allah says in the Quran, وَمَا تُنْفِقُونَ إِلَّا بْتِغَاءَ وَجْهِ اللَّهِ You're only spending your money to see the face of Allah. You're spending... Guys, I need to pause this. Christ said when we were bit by bit. I love what he's saying, but... Someone actually told me something in the comment section. I told you guys, I read the comment section a lot. That's why when so if you tell me some hot button, it actually gets to me. So, scrap that, guys. Someone actually told me that, you know, based on the findings I got from the reaction I was doing, I kind of noticed we have seven heavens. And someone actually told me, you're going to get to the heaven based on your good days based on your good days you're going to be placed in one of the seven heavens so it's kind of strange i think all of us are supposed to go to one heaven like everybody one heaven but the person trying to tell me that all being in separate heaven i try to make logical sense but that's the only way she says to be guys tell me if she's wrong or right because when i thought about it i'm like all of us are supposed to be in one heaven not this person based on this good days will be in the first heaven. Maybe I do more than him. I'll be in the second heaven. I feel it's you a sinner or you're not. So if you commit sin, you go to hell you go to hell. If you're a righteous person, you go to heaven. That is how I see it. I don't really see it as someone and him saying the face of God is gonna be 
the best thing. It's going to be more than paradise. Like, I think that is true. We're going to be thinking of it right now, guys. Like, but I feel God said no one can see his face alive. So when we die, we're going to be able to see the face of God because we are no longer in this flesh. Our soul have actually ascended. So this is what I've gotten from this video, guys. So let's get back into this. Sending your money fi sabilillah to see the face of Allah. Allah says you're being good to your relatives in order to see the face of Allah. Allah says you're being patient. They're being patient in order to see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the face of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the Quran tells us that when we see the face of Allah, when we see the face of Allah, our faces will become bright and shining. We all know the verse. On that day, Faces will be shining bright. Now they're up. They're going to be shining bright. Why? Because they will be looking at their Lord. Yeah. And this shows us that looking at the face of Allah is the greatest blessing given to us. And that face has been described as Dhul Jalali Wal Ikram. The face has been described as a face of Jalal. And Jalal means magnificence. Jalal means honor. Jalal means magnificence. And ikram means nobility. The face of Allah is a face of honor and a face of nobility. Why? Because anybody who sees that face has been honored beyond anyone else. Anyone who sees that face has been given an honor and a nobility that no one else will possess. And that face of Allah, we will not see it in this world. Musa asked to see. But Allah said, you don't have the power. You don't have the, the power, the capability. That is something only in the next life. And a famous hadith of Abu Dhar al-Ghifari, after Isra al-Mi'raj, when the Prophet ﷺ went up, and he went to a place higher than Jibreel. The Jibreel, Jibreel took him up, and Jibreel said, I cannot go anymore. Now you have to go on your own. I'm not allowed beyond this point. So the Prophet ﷺ went higher than any created being has ever been. Then he came back down. Abu Dhar al-Ghifari asked him, this hadith is in Sahih Muslim, very beautiful hadith, very interesting hadith. Ya Rasul Allah, hal ra'ayta rabbak? Beautiful hadith. O Messenger of Allah, did you see your Lord? Did you see your Lord? And our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam replied, Noor anna arah. There was light everywhere. How could I see him? Noor anna ara. There was light everywhere. How could I see him? What light is he talking about? What is this light? Our Prophet explained in another hadith. He clarified in another hadith. And this hadith is reported in Abu, by Abu Huraira in Sahih Muslim as well. And in it he said, Allah Azza wa Jal has taken a hijab. Hijabuhu nur. Allah's hijab is nur. Allah Azza wa Jal has taken a hijab. By hijab we mean a covering. Allah has taken a hijab. What is that hijab? You see for us the hijab, the hijab covers the beauty. It covers the beauty and it envelopes the beauty. For Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the hijab itself is beauty and what is covered is beyond imagination. What it covers is beyond what the mind can comprehend. So our Prophet ﷺ said, Hijabuhu nur Allah's hijab is light. Law kashafahu, if he were to lift that hijab, la ahraqat subuhatu wajhihi mantaha ilayhi basaruhu min khalqihi. The rays of light that come from Allah's face would destroy everything that it sees. The beauty. The radiance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is so powerful that the creation cannot bear to see it. So when the creation cannot bear to see it, out of mercy for the creation, Allah has veiled Himself from us in this dunya. And what is His veil? His veil itself is light. So when our Prophet went up all the way to Isra wal Mi'raj, he saw the veil of Allah. So when Abu Dhar asked him, what did you see? Did you see Allah? He said, Noor Anna Ara. There was the light.
Hmm. Guys, I think I kind of understand this like like we believe God is light. So I don't feel anyone can see God as if he's alive. You is impossible. But I think Moses did though. Moses was a man who was able to communicate with God and he saw the back of God and when he came down for the mountain he was feel like Moses turned into a like shining star. Yes, he was like he was filled with light just by seeing a glimpse of the back of God. So this is actually crazy guys. This, this is beautiful in the sense that we all believe that there is one God. And when I saw Moses there, like, I thought he smiled. In the sense that it's kind of beautiful that, like, we kind of believe in the same thing. You guys believe in Moses. I do believe in Moses. We all believe Moses was a great prophet of God. And he was able to see. I don't know if you guys believe he saw God's back, though. Please let me know in the comment section. But we Christians, we believe he saw God's back. And when he came down, he was filled with light. And that was actually very beautiful, guys. I know we are supposed to do good this. I believe in that. And I think I'm going to make it, I did some research on Trinity. I'm going to share my opinion with the video I reacted to the first time about Trinity, my Muslim friend. You guys are just telling me do research, do research, do research. So I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best to do more research and make more amazing content. So guys, this is actually, we'll come to the end of this video actually. And I felt this was amazing. In the sense that it actually broadens my mind about God. You know, sometimes you think about it. We are all here to like worship God. Do things right. Like we are here to stand out from the everyday life. I don't know why people are trying to make life kind of hard. Life is supposed to be easy. Life is supposed to be filled with joy, happiness, and all the amazing things, guys. But I don't know why people are trying to make life seem hard. Life isn't supposed to be hard, guys. Like, money is not supposed to be our first priority. So, looking at God, family, then money can come in. But now it's like everything is changing, guys. Well, I feel because of the end time, God is coming soon. So, things have been predicted to go this way. So, guys, like, we'll come to the end of the video. Please make sure you check out the boom, guys. I made this, like, you can see this, like, this is beautiful, like, this, this, this is amazing. Guys, if you like, share, subscribe to my channel, check them out, guys, in the description below. We'll see you next time, guys. Peace.